My name is Mitch Jacobson, Director of Vocational Services at Catalyst Life Services, and I'm going to talk to you today about our vocational services here at Catalyst Life Services. Our vocational services are broken down into about four separate and distinct services with a little bit of overlap and intertwining between each of them. Uh, the first one being our embroidery and print shop. Our embroidery and print services service the Mansfield area and the state of Ohio with uh, high quality embroidered goods and items and uh, promotional apparel. Some of our larger contracts might be the Ohio Department of Transportation, the Ohio Lottery Commission, um, the Department of Public Safety, but we have no minimum order quantity. So, you know, any embroidery needs, large or small, we can do it all. Um, our embroidery staff are individuals uh, who have a lot of uh, skill and attention to detail and they really do a great job in keeping the embroidery machines running and keeping our customers happy and satisfied. Uh, one thing you might not know about our embroidery department is um, the individuals who are working back there are often pulled from the next service that I'm going to go into which is our industrial workshop. Um, the industrial workshop is entry-level manuf outsourced manufacturing. Uh, we service most of the Mansfield area. Some of our customers you may have heard of before, Gorman Rupp, Warren Rupp, um, Taylor Metal Products, and Next Generation Films. Uh, some of the work that we do for them would be assembly, quality control inspection, machine operation. Uh, we would want to take an entry-level worker who might have a disability or another barrier to employment, put them back there in our workshop and give them an opportunity to uh, you know, hone their skills. Those are skills that are in demand for just about any manufacturer. Um, and, you know, we would want to give them some work experience. I'd say the average length of stay working back there at Progress Industries is between six months and two years. So we want to give someone enough time to acquire a skill set um, and develop enough so that they can transition into other positions out there in the community. You know, sometimes Progress Industries receives referrals from or makes referrals to our vocational rehabilitation department, um, Voc Rehab is traditional job placement services like resume writing, practicing for interviews. Um, we would also help individuals with job placement. Um, you know, we have relationships with hiring managers and businesses out in the community. And we'd like to be able to give people the opportunity to, you know, go out there, meet with employers, socially distance, of course. Um, and, you know, just uh, submitting applications, making contacts, and uh, making sure that we can assist with follow-up as well. Um, we might also do something for a little bit differently for an individual who might not know what they want to do. That's a service called Career Exploration, and we want to give them the opportunity to explore different career paths and uh, try to find what the right best fit is. Uh, finally, we have the Workforce Innovation Opportunity Act programming, um, WIOA. That's for transitional age youth, ages 14 to 24, with barriers to their employment and educational goals. Um, some of those barriers might be youth with a disability, youth who are pregnant or parenting, um, homeless or runaway, youth who are aging out of the foster care system, and youth who may have been involved with the juvenile or adult justice system. Um, when we're dealing with this population, oftentimes, you know, these individuals don't just have one or two of those barriers. They might have four or five. They might have all of them. So, uh, you know, this is a high needs population with a lot of barriers. Our job as the employment specialist and the vocational providers is to help them to remove those barriers. Uh, you know, sometimes it could be assistance with transportation through driver's ed, bus passes or gas vouchers. Um, other times it's just getting creative and helping them to apply for jobs that might mitigate or, you know, reduce the impact of some of those barriers. Uh, we can also provide mentorship, tutoring, uh, financial literacy, um, specifically budgeting and banking, because, you know, it does an individual no good to receive a paycheck if they spend it on all the wrong things. Uh, you know, finally, uh, I just want to, you know, loop back to how you can, uh, you know, get involved and uh, refer someone to our services. Uh, you'd want to go to www.catalystlifeservices.org slash vocational hyphen services and uh, there you'll find our referral form or our catalog to peruse some of our embroidery offerings. Uh, the holidays are coming up, so you know if you are a business who is thinking of you know getting your employees a nice gift, or you just want to you know come in and see what it would be to get a couple customized shirts or um, personalized items, go ahead and give us a call. We'd be uh, happy to you know work with you and try to meet your needs. Thanks.